So That's pretty solid. Because there's already a retail um, facility there, and now it's empty, I'm assuming you're not getting a lot of pushback from the municipalities um, putting self-storage in place. That's, that's correct. So typically what we'll see is the owners of these retail, you know, big box retail stores. First, they try as hard as they can to continue to lease it. They don't even want to sell the asset because they, they're delusional and think another large big box is going to come in at least for 20 years. It's just not going to happen. Then right. once they realize that's not the case and the properties that have been sitting vacant for a few years, then they try to sell to another uh, owner that would use the same strategy of trying to get a retail client in there and then that doesn't work for you know two to three years so by this time the property's already been vacant for five six years and when it's not producing cash flow the owners aren't keeping up with the facade keeping up with the you know the pavement repairs on the outside especially in the midwest you know the the frost uh the frost right. heaving that happens can really destroy that and then it starts to look really blighted uh, on the community. And because it's on a main thoroughfare, you know, you're having tens of thousands of cars pass that facility every day and it's looking worse and worse every year. So by the time they're willing to sell, not only to us, but willing to sell to us at the price that we're able to buy at, the municipality is welcoming, welcoming us with open arms saying, please do something about this. It looks so terrible. You know, there's typically issues of people breaking in, causing issues yeah. on the inside. So yeah, we we typically get greeted with open arms. The last one that we that we purchased was in Ohio. I actually sent the package to Jonathan. So if you had a chance to look at it, let me know. I did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So on that <laughs> on that property, uh, the zoning, the rezoning to self storage was probably the the fastest I've ever done. I submitted my business plan. Uh, within a week, they asked me to jump on a Zoom call. I, want, I was on the Zoom call for 15 minutes. They asked me three questions, and then they approved my zoning change. 